man who police believe killed his wife and another woman in Detroit over the weekend is now dead. He was shot and killed by police who found him hiding out in the hotel where he worked. That's near Metro Airport. 7 Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn tells us it was a fellow employee who called police. The end for Pablo Medina came on the second floor of the Embassy Suites Hotel with police moving in on his hideaway. The subject exited the closet with a nickel plated revolver pointed at officers. Officers returned open fire, uh, killing the suspect. Police and SWAT team officers entered the building in search of the 41 year old suspect who shot and killed his wife and a female friend in cold blood early Saturday morning outside a home in southwest Detroit. Medina was waiting and opened fire at the car driven by Ney Martinez, who was 27. 45 year old Martha Veronica Rodriguez Rios, who was said to be divorcing Medina, ran from the vehicle along with a male passenger. Medina caught up to her, shooting her to death. On the run, he came to this hotel near Metro Airport. This morning, officers got employees out of the building while also escorting many of the hotel guests. They also were focused on finding Medina. He had a master key and he spent the weekend sleeping in a storage room here. And that's where he was holed up as SWAT teams moved room to room. Would he have heard what was going on room to room? Oh, think? most definitely, most definitely. Most definitely. There was no uh, dynamic entries in, in, into the rooms. We were knocking on doors, um, advising people in the rooms that we're here clearing, clearing the hotel and they needed to evacuate. Those hotel guests watched as the situation unfolded. Betty Frisbee had traveled with a big group from Philadelphia and New Jersey for a family reunion. Uh, just a, a, a new experience for us, one that will make this reunion unforgettable. One man who worked with the victims and also knew Medina was shocked by what happened. He was, looks like a nice person, you know, I never see him like like suspicious or, you know, crazy people or something like that, no? That's why I can't imagine him, he do it, but I don't know, it's sad. Ian Romulus, Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News. Former Michigan